Dads do all they can to take care of their kids, but they don't always take care of themselves. Local financial professional Brad Allen, the father of three from WealthWisconsin.com, <laughs> joins us with five questions to ask your dad on this upcoming Father's oh, Day. Five. I remember the question most often from my son was, why? Why? Ah, right. yes. Why? Those aren't the questions no. you're. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, we're talking about you know just talking about what's going to happen when your your dad or even your mom can't handle the finances anymore. Maybe you're in a nursing home or something like that. So mm -hmm. how do you have those conversations? That can be tough Ooh, because yes. older generations yes. Yes. they don't talk about money. Yeah. And one you know? of the most important things you should probably talk about is a will. Yeah. Do you have a will? Uh, will is kind of the cornerstone of a financial plan. It says these are the th the, the people who are going to inherit the assets when something happens to me, but that's not the only thing you need. You also need a power of a, a financial power of attorney, a medical power of attorney. You need to designate these people so that you have somebody that's going to make tough decisions on your behalf that you trust down the road. So uh, when do you have to have these conversations? I mean, you've got young kids. They're not yeah. going to bring this up right now, right? Yeah, you know, I'd say, you know, as, as you age, you're getting into retirement maybe, or, you know, you have your kids. You should have the older. will, though, you right? You should have a will. Right. Uh, do you happens. need a trust maybe? Right. A trust is a conversation. A trust protects a little bit more than the will. Do, is it necessary? So you want to sit down with a financial professional and make sure it's working for you. And I know you're, you're not a therapist, but how do you start this conversation? Yeah. Because yeah. you're talking about two things that are, make people uncomfortable, death and money. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're talking about, let's do that with my mom and my dad. How yeah. do I start that conversation? You know, I work a lot in retirement, and a lot of clients will bring their kids in with them. Oh. Um, and it's not necessarily about how much does mom and dad have, but right. just developing that relationship so that mm -hmm. if something happens to their parents, they know who to turn to to ask the questions. Because it can be, I've seen it so many times, it's Daunting. like a jigsaw puzzle. You know, if you don't know where everything is, there's not a list, or maybe your, your dad kept everything in a safe and nobody knows the combination. All that kind of stuff is important. So putting that puzzle together with a financial professional professional can help. All right, say I did that. I yeah. did that 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Should I revisit it? Yeah, with things that happen in life, whether it's a marriage or a, a child being born or, or a divorce, I always say when the, the in-law becomes the outlaw, right, because of a divorce. <laughs> That's when you have that conversation. You want to make sure that they're not a beneficiary <laughs> in your account still. So wow. whether it's a 401k <laughs> or a, a brokerage account or any kind of account like that, update the beneficiaries on those accounts so you, you have the right, thing, the right things going to the right people. So there are some tough questions that parents have to make or decide as well. Uh -huh. Answers, I should say. You said you have three kids. When they become adults, who's going to have the power of attorney? You know, the is it the oldest? One in the pack. Is it smart? Doesn't necessarily have right, to be but, the oldest. It could be the middle child. But you probably see that that can be a dispute in the family right now to yeah, try to answer I that mean, question. I mean, you may know your kids, and you may know that your your middle son doesn't. They can't pull the plug. If, if something, if you're in oh, the right. seriously, or, no, wow, right, we have to go right to there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, right. or, or maybe plug. you have a, a son that's a financial advisor, right. and, and right. they're good with finance. So having a person that can handle those kind of things and deal with it is important. The key point here yeah. is make a plan, get a plan. And right. have a conversation. And have a conversation. You got it. All right. Thank you, Brad. Sure.